All right, so this is my version or my video about what I'm looking into as far as voter fraud goes in the 2020 presidential election. Um, there's some weird things that connect a lot of these companies together, and uh, I haven't seen too many people talking about them. Now, I, they've been talking about the fraud and the votes and all that. They've been talking about the companies and the people that run them, and subsequently, you know, how this all came to be. So, I kind of want to look into that a little bit. So, that's what we're doing. So, follow along. So, first we're going to look at Dominion, right? And, of course, Wikipedia. Dominion was a subject of a hoax implied amplified by followers of the far-right QAnon conspiracy, which is, that's a joke. Um, later spread by one American news network. Wow, this has even gotten worse. People have added to this since I've last read it. Um, they alleged that the company's voting machines had been compromised, resulting in millions of votes for Trump being deleted or switched to votes for Biden in the 2020 presidential election. Some made false claims that Dominion had close ties to the Clinton family and other Democrats. There is no evidence supporting these claims, which have been debunked by various groups, including election technology experts, government and voting industry officials, and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. Yeah, I don't buy that. That's a load of crap. Because I, just through some rudimentary freaking stuff have linked this to those people. Well, not the Clintons, but the Democratic Party. And I'll show you if you follow along. So, okay, we scroll on down here. Acquisitions, 2008, Dominion acquired Premier Election Solutions, formerly Diebold Election Systems, from Election System Software, ES&S. ENS had just acquired PES from Diebold, which, and was required to sell off PES by the United States Department of Justice for antitrust concerns. Okay, antitrust concerns. In 2010, Dominion acquired Sequoia Voiding Systems. Okay, so that's all this says in, if you look up Dominion. But you have to go to these other sites and start looking into some of these other companies. Okay. And a lot of this alleged controversy stuff is, is popped up after the fact, just recently, within the last couple of days, um, because of what's going on in the media. So, but, you know, we'll, we'll get into some other stuff here in a little bit. But let's go right on into Premier Election Solutions. Okay? So now, oh, 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 let's do this. Let's go here. Open link a new tab. There we go. Okay. So Premier Election Solutions, formerly Diable Elections, was sold. Okay. 2009 was sold to competitor ES. Another subsequent selling electronic systems in Brazil. Okay. Another subsidy selling electronic voter systems in Brazil is Diable Procomp, with minor market share in the nation. In 2010, Dominion Voting Systems purchased the primary assets of Premier, including all intellectual property, software, firmware, and hardware for Premier's current and legacy optical scan, central scan, and touchscreen voting systems and all versions of the GEMS elected management system from ES and S. Okay, so these basically, this is like one giant election system machine company merger, okay? But they did it kind of weird. It's all, all of these companies are all linked together, okay? So as, at the time, he has a spun off company due to monopoly charges. <clears throat> its systems were used in 1,400 jurisdictions in 33 states serving nearly 28 million people, okay? Name change and acquisition. Election systems and software acquired Premier Election System or Election Solutions on September 3rd, 2009. Said combining the two companies would result in better products and services for customers and voters. The sale did not affect the Brazilian division. Following the acquisition, the Department of Justice and 14 individual states launched investigations into the transaction on antitrust grounds. In March 2010, 
the Department of Justice filed a civil anti loss antitrust lawsuit against EES requiring that it divest voting equipment systems assets it acquired from Premier Election Solutions in order to restore competition. The company then sold its assets to Dominion Voting Systems. Okay? So, Election Systems and Software, ES and S, bought Premier and all its intellectual property, okay? Had it for a few years, it looks like, yeah, for a couple of years, and then sold it after doing all of their stuff to it, um, you know, whatever, you know, proprietary changes or whatever. They, they, then they sold it to Dominion, okay? So, ES and S, Election Systems and Software, own Premier Election Solutions. Now, we'll get to where that goes in just a minute, but I'll be right back. i got to take a quick break. All right, sorry for that interruption. Um, got some things going on, you know, whatever. So uh, let's get back into it. Okay. So E, S, and S, right? Acquired Premier, it says here, in 2009, right? So let's see. Where am I going with all this? All right, then Dominion bought Premier in 2010 after it had been with E, S for a year, right? Okay. So, let's open another tab, and we'll do another search here for Smartmatic. Oh, let's go to the Smartmatic fact check for a minute. I'm going to ch check something out. Um, and then, and then here we go. And then, and then we'll go into their Wikipedia page here in a minute. I want to see something. No, it's not a Venezuelan company. Yes, okay, I get that. Uh, major share is held by SGO, a company owned by Magit. I can't say his name. I'm not going to try. Okay. Has Smartmatic owned any voting machine company in the USA? Smartmatic owned Sequoia voting, sy voting Systems and sold it in 2007. Okay. Were Smartmatic voting machines used in Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, Nevada, Michigan, or North Carolina? No, none of these states used Smartmatic technology. Okay, that's that's what they say on their website. All right. So we go to their Wikipedia page. Let me pull that up. Okay, and I got one more. Well, Sometimes. Come on, damn it. There we go. I have to say Looking for a certain nope. nope. That's not what I'm looking for. Pretty sure I'm gonna find this one. This is the one. 
All right, fact check. All right, let's get back to that. Fact check, Smartmatic fact check, right? Says, no, none of these states use Smartmatic technology, right? And Smartmatic even admitted that they sold, or they owned Sequoia voting systems and sold them in 2007, right? So, Scroll on down here, United States. Okay. Okay, here we go. Following, okay. Following the 2004 Venezuelan recall election, Smartmatic acquired Sequoia Voting Systems, one of the leading U.S. companies in automated voting products, from the British company Delarue in 2005. Following this acquisition, U.S. Representative Carolyn B. Maloney requested an investigation to determine whether the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States had followed correct processes to greenlight the sale of Sequoia to Smartmatic, which was described as having possible ties to the Venezuelan government. Okay, this was 2005. <clears throat> okay, the request was made after March, a March 2006 following issues in Chicago and Cook County, where a percentage of the machines involved were prop were manufactured by Sequoia, and Sequoia provided technical assistance some by a number of Venezuelan nationals flown in for the event. According to Sequoia, the tabulation problems were due to human error as a post-election clerk identified only three mechanical problems in 1,000 machines checked while election officials blamed poor training. Other issues were suspected to be related in the software errors linked to the voting system central computer. Okay. So, you can read through the rest of that, um, but here's the key thing, okay? S Smartmatic owned Sequoia Voting Systems, what? okay? They own them, right? Now, here, in the Washington Times, in this story, in the Washington Times, okay, I came across a bit of information that kind of ties a little bit more of this together, if I can find... Oh, come on, where is it? Nope, this isn't the right article either. I'll find it, I'll find it. Bear with me, folks, bear with me. This is my first time doing this stuff, okay? So, I'm trying, I'm trying to find it here. I know I should have bookmarked it. I'm an idiot for not doing that. Um, Is this the one? Okay, here we go. I think this is the one. This is the same one. It just took a minute to reload, I guess. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's starting to load up now. Okay, claims that okay. So right here it says the suspicion stems from the discovery on election night that got the Dominion, Dominion ballot scanners and software switched six thousand votes from Mr. Trump to Mr. Biden in Atrium County, Michigan. The mix-up was caught and corrected, and the correction is reflected in Mr. Biden's lead in, Mich in Michigan's tally. Speculation of widespread vote switching ensued because Dominion Voting Systems provides voting technology to more than two dozen states. The company claims on its website to service 40% of American voters. 40%. Okay. 
Okay, that's not the interesting part of the of this article. Okay, so uh, da, 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 here we go. We, um, the Associated Press has reported in a fact check that there were no evidence to support Mr. James Clump, uh, Mr. Trump's claims that the election technology deleted large number of votes for him. And, and okay, so. <clears throat> Dominion Voting Systems categorically denies false assertions about vote switching issues in our voting systems, the company said in a statement posted on its website. Uh, okay, the system and process is used by election officials to tabulate votes and certify official results are protected by various safeguards that help ensure the accuracy of election results. Right. Well, who puts in those safeguards? Right? The people that work for the company, right? Okay, so let's all right, so uh, Georgia Poll Watcher, co-founder of his group. No, no, no. Okay. Now oh, they're talking about the recount in Georgia, and that's another thing we'll get into. There's another video about that, and I'll probably do another video about that, the whole Georgia recount, <clears throat> in another segment. But um, let's get back to this, okay? Last year, Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts led three other Democratic lawmakers in warning that Dominion Voting Systems and two other voting technology firms were trouble-plagued and prone to security issues. This was just last year, okay? By, you know, and also by Senate, Senator Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota and Ron Wyden of Oregon and Mark Pushan of Wisconsin, okay? So four Democratic senators sent, letter, sent letters saying that this this software, along with two other systems, was problematic and prone to security problems. Okay, uh, Dominion's corporate origins trace back to Smartmatic, a voting technology company established in 2000 that has ties to Chavez. Smartmatic was founded by three Venezuelan engineers and incorporated in Delaware with headquarters in Boca Raton, Florida. In 2004, the company had vastly expanded and bought BITSA, an electronic voting company in which Smartmatic and the Venezuelan government both own large stakes. In 2005, 2005 Smartmatic bought Sequoia, one of, the US top, one of the top U.S. companies producing automated voting systems. Okay, so this company, right, Systematic was started, was founded by three Venezuelan engineers and incorporated in Delaware. And two, by 2004, the company had vastly expanded. And okay, just, so just in four years, this company vastly expanded and bought. And then in five years, within five years, it was able to buy Sequoia, one of the U.S. companies. Top U.S. companies providing producing automated voting systems. Okay, so Rep. Carolyn Maloney again, New York Democrat, wrote in 2006 to the Treasury Secretary John W. Snow demanding an investigation of the Venezuelan government for influence in the U.S. voting systems. Well, duh. But here's the question: Why is nobody in, uh, asking this of Canada? Because Dominion is a Canadian-owned company, and you know they will will tie that all into it here in a minute too, because old Justin Trudeau. And his great reset comment, right? How can you not start raising flags here? <clears throat> in 2010, uh, uh, while under review by the com Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S., Smartmatic in 2006 sold Sequoia to Bain Capital, a corporate raider firm with ties to Senator Mitt Romney, Utah Republican. Okay, Mitt Romney has been one of the staunchest never-Trumpers out there. Now I find out that he's got links to this corporate raider firm that bought Sequoia. Okay, this was after Sequoia had been owned by Smartmatic for a year. Now, if we look at Smartmatic's webpage, actually... Let's do one more, okay? Because we gotta go to Sequoia. Um, drawing a blank on how to spell it here. Right. Something like no. Oh, I think that's right. Oh. There we go. Now. 
pull up Sequoia Voting System Wikipedia page. Let me find it. Oh, right here. Right, the top result. Jeez. Okay, so in here, I read. Uh, 1997, it obtained Optech. Okay, so Sequoia obtained the intellectual property rights to the Optech line of ballot scanners from Business Records Corporation. In 2002, De La Rue, a British currency company, took over Smurfit for $23 million. After losing money for several years, Sequoia was acquired by, in 2005, Sequoia was acquired by Smartmatic, a multinational te technology company, which had development developed advanced election systems, voting machines included. Thereafter, Smartmatic assigned a major portion of its development and managerial teams dedicated to revamping some of Sequoia's old-fashioned legacy voting machines and replacing their technology with avant-garde proprietary features and developments which resulted in new high-tech products. So, <laughs> while they owned Sequoia, Smartmatic upgraded all of their machines and put proprietary features and developments in them, okay? So then, they come under investigation and have to sell. So what do they do? They sell to Bain Capital, right? With, with ties to Mitt Romney. <laughs> then they use the... <laughs> Then they use Dominion. When Dominion buys Sequoia, then they turn around and use Dominion in Utah. Okay? So there's connections there, too. All of this stuff is connected, man. All of it. If you look at... I mean, there are ties... Just, just read through this Wikipedia page, man, and you'll, you'll see. Okay? In 2008, competitor Hart Inter... Uh, and InterCivic, which is who we use here in Oklahoma, and we have probably the best election system of all the states in the United States. Um, just saying that. Uh, attempted a hostile takeover of Sequoia. Court documents unearthed at this time revealed that Smartmatic still retained some financial control over several aspects of Sequoia. Okay, this is 2008. After they were supposedly supposed to have sold to Bain to Bain Capital, right? So, well, wait a minute. They sold to Bain Capital, but yet they still own parts of it. How does that happen, right? At the time, Smartmatic held a two million dollar note from SVS Holdings Inc., the management team which purchased the company from Smartmatic. Okay, so it was a management team that they created their own little group called SVS Holdings, the management team that used to work for Sequoia, now created this little team, this little holding group, and then bought Sequoia so they could hold on to it, right? In accordance with the acquisition contract, Smartmatic also retains ownership of intellectual property rights for some of Sequoia's currently deployed election products in the United States and holds the right to negotiate overseas non-compete agreements. So Smartmatic still owns all the intellectual property rights to Sequoia's machines, even though Dominion owns those machines. But yet, Smartmatic fact check right here. Does Smartmatic, or where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where does they say they have... No ties to Dominion or whatever. I know I saw that somewhere. Oh, does Smartmatic own any other voting machine company? Um, technically, no. But they own all the freaking intellectual rights of all the stuff that they sold to Dominion. See, they changed this, too, because there was one of these fact checks up here initially that said that they had no contact or, or any dealings with Dominion voting systems at all. And that was a load of crap, because you can just see I just connected all of these premier election systems, Smartmatic, 
Sequoia, Dominion, all of these are linked together. They're all owned by the same people. So, how can I trust any of this stuff? Then, I saw a tweet. I don't know if I can pull it up. Uh, let me see. Uh, da -da -da. I've never used Twitter on my computer, so this is going to be kind of weird for the first time. Let me, uh, I don't even remember if I know my uh, logins anymore. Anyways, we'll, we'll skip the Twitter part. Anyways, you can see, all these electronic voting systems, they're all linked together. I mean, they're selling off little pieces here and there, but it, they're, and it says here, Dominion is the second largest seller of voting machines in the United States. In 2016, its machine served 70 million voters in 1,600 jurisdictions. Okay? That's Sequoia and Smartmatic. That's not Dominion. Okay? This is just a name. This is all just a front for what they've done over the last 20 years of, you know, messing with these election machines, these voting machines. Um, and we've just never really looked into it before. We've just accepted the results because that's the way it was. Up until this election where it was the most contested and it meant the most for this country, did we, did, did we really dive into this? But I guarantee you this has been going on for years and years and years and years. And, you know, you want... Maybe I'm just seeing things that aren't there. Maybe I'm creating conspiracies that don't exist. But you know what? It looks to me, it looks pretty damn fishy to me. Uh, you tell me in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button and the like button. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you'll, see, you'll get notified anytime I drop more videos. Like I said, this is my first few videos, so bear with me. Things will get better. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.